Hi guys, so welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to film a secondhand uh, book haul for you guys. So this is probably just one of many that I'm going to do in September because I tend to buy just too many books, basically. I can't, I can't help myself. So um, the first three that I'm going to show you are ones that I got today and they're just from like my local city. Um, and they're from Oxfam because so I'm not actually sure if Oxfam do have like branches and charity shops outside of the UK um, and they have certain stores which just sell books and kind of like records and stuff like that so I went into one today that just sells books which is amazing and I picked up three and then yesterday I visited a secondhand bookstore which is in my local town so that's like 15 minutes away from me and basically it's kind of a funny story this one so this bookstore it is opposite my like my school gates my old secondary school so it was always so close to me like literally two seconds away but for some reason me and my friends just never went in I don't know why because uh, we were all like, English lit students but we just never went in so I've started to go there more recently I did a haul from there a couple months ago now and this is my haul, well my last haul that I've done there before I go back to uni. So the guy is so lovely as well because I bought, well I had £11 and I spent £15 in there. Um, but he was like, oh yeah you can just like loan me the £4, like I'll you know come in whenever is like most convenient for you and then you can, then you can pay me back the £4. And I just thought that was really sweet. I felt really bad but I was like, you know what, yeah because I really want the books. <laughs> Right, anyway, so I'll get stuck in. I feel like I'm just chatting about lots of random stuff now. <laughs> Giving you guys a lot of context, waffling on. Um, so I'll start with the first book that I got from the Oxfam. And I'll start with the picture of Dorian Gray. So I got this even though my sister already has a copy. But basically me and my friends, and my sister included, there's four of us, we've just started a book club and we've called it Hampton College Book Club. So if you are familiar with the secret history, you'll recognise that. So um, I think we might be think we're thinking of reading the picture of Dorian Gray anyway for our book club. So that's why I thought um, that I'll get my own copy rather than... Um, just share hers because that will just be easier especially because we go to two different unis and two different cities in the UK so we're a bit further away oh and that was £1.49 so very good this next one I'm a bit disappointed with just because I realised afterwards like when I when once I come out of the store that it is a book on literary criticism so this is Hamlet <laughs> I mean, I don't. I should have been able to tell. I just thought, oh my god, this looks really pretty. I have to have it. And then I came out and I was like, shit, it is a book on literary criticism. So I'm gonna have to rebuy this. I mean, it still looks really good. Obviously, I just. I mean, I don't read a lot of literary criticism. I know my sister does, but she studies like English lit at uni. So I suppose it's something that you'll do for that, or if you're really, really interested in a certain play or book. Um, but yeah, because it's got chapters on like Hamlet in the theatre, the structure of Hamlet, the heroism of Hamlet. So it's interesting and I will read it, but I kind of, I'll read it once I've actually read Hamlet eventually <laughs> when I get a new copy. <laughs> so. And then the last book that I got is Mary Beard, Women in Power. I, I am honestly so pleased that I managed to find this one. Um... I think as soon as I saw it, I kind of like, obviously you, you're wearing your masks anyway in store, but I, I like smiled, I had a massive grin, because I was like, oh my god, I found Mary Beard for like 1.99. it's brilliant. So I'm really excited to read this one. I had a flick through already, and obviously because she is a classicist herself, there are a lot of classical references and classical women are invoked in this book, so it seems, yeah, really interesting. So those are the three that I got from Oxfam. Right, now I can show you guys my bigger haul, which I got from that second-hand bookstore that I mentioned. So, how am I going to do this, actually? I'll save my favourites for last, just because, I, I don't know why, I'll just do it, you know, go for it. Okay, so the first book that I got is uh, Lucian Satirical Sketches. Now, I've wanted this for a while now. Um, it's just a Roman piece of um, of literature, 
um, and it just looks really interesting. So another one for my collection, <laughs> my ancient collection. <laughs> um, then I got this, it's Greek to me, who's it by? By Michael Macrone. I think I've heard of this one before somewhere on like bookstagram, um, but I just had a little flick through it because obviously some of the books in the store were, qu were quite basic in their knowledge and I thought well there's not a lot of point in me getting quite basic ancient Greek books because I learned it at uni and I've already paid nine grand for that and it's all online so <laughs> so I might as well just get stuff that's quite useful it's got some extra um knowledge in it and quite detailed so I got this one because I flicked through it and it has just got some quite interesting uh chapters I'm not sure what I've pulled up there um, but yeah, it basically takes um, part of a ancient like dialogue or text, because here's Plato, some of the Apology, um, and it just quotes it and then talks about it in more detail. So it really does seem really interesting. Um, yeah, they've got Diogenes as well. Talks about Livy, goes, yeah, I think it goes into the Roman Empire as well. So yeah, just a really, really good little kind of bite sized uh, book. Um, I'll show you guys this next book now just because it's not actually for me, I bought it for my sister and that is just the Iliad by Homer in the, I think it's in the, yeah, the Wordsworth classic edition. Um, so I only got this for a pound because basically, oh, I've not told you guys this yet. Um, so in this bookstore there's a section, it's like, so there's a really, it's a quite a small store at the front and then you go out of this like creaky door and you walk through like a little bit of his garden and there's a massive outbuilding at the back and all of the books in there are for like a quid. So it's brilliant. I say books, well you'll see in the next couple ones that I show you that I did not just find books, I also found a TV series. So I'll show you guys that now because I've mentioned it. So. Right, you can't tell what it is from the cover, but it's the BBC series um, that they did of Rome. It is it is called Rome. Let me get it out. Yeah, it's just the complete first season. Because I've wanted this one for ages, actually. I had a look on Amazon, like, on the second-hand stuff as well there, and it was still, like, 13 quid. It's really expensive. Um... So I found this for just one pound. So I'm hoping that all the, all the DVDs work. Um because it's been out in this outbuilding for god knows how long <laughs> so yeah i'm still really pleased with this hope all the hope it all works yeah <laughs> so uh the next book that i found is the odes of horace so i'm really looking forward to reading this because i've not actually read any of um horace just yet um so yeah i'm really looking forward to it i think yeah he's a roman poet yeah from 65 to 8 bc because I've heard of him in everything, but I just haven't um, actually read any of his verses, his poetry yet. So, yeah, I'm very pleased. The next one that I've got is another book on Cicero. So, if you've seen my uh, bookshelf tour, you would know that I've already got uh, his defence speeches. Um, so, this is just his selected works. So, I think there might be a little bit of um, an overlap. But this is mostly his like letters to Atticus um, and some of his other kind of dialogues and stuff like that. So yeah, very good. The next book that I found is on Athenian red figure vases and it's by John Broadman, I think. Quite a well-known classicist. I just thought I'd get this because it's reasonably um, newly printed as well. Um, I say reasonably new, some of it is in black and white still. Um, but I just thought I'd get it as well because of the text in it. I thought that would be really useful to read that. Um, I did do a module last year though for uni and that was um, on like Greek and Roman art and archaeology. So I have, there's a bit of overlap with my knowledge there maybe. But I still think that pottery is something that's just so fascinating. It's, it's awesome, it really is awesome. What amazing language from a classic student saying that it's awesome but... <laughs> So yeah, I'm happy with that one. Um, next I've got um, Tacitus and that is the, um, what is this? The Annals of Imperial Rome. Yeah, because I've got his histories as well um, somewhere else. So I'm really happy with this one, especially because it's a 
newer translation obviously as you can tell it's one of the new penguin translations because i suppose one issue is with buying second hand as much as i love it um you can find just a lot of old i say outdated books they're more just like archaic translations they are a little bit old but um yeah i think they're still worth getting because i mean saying that i did read um sophocles electra in the same translation i'll bring my lucian back out just for you to see it's in this same like penguin classics translation um i think these, i think these are from the 1960s um but saying that i still really really enjoyed it i felt like it wasn't archaic at all i felt like it just flowed really well so i wouldn't say that Oh yeah, I don't want to put you guys off buying obviously these older secondhand editions because they're still they still read really well, basically. <laughs> right, I've come down here now because my legs are really aching. Um, so I've got Classical Turkey. I don't actually know who this is by. By John Freely. There we go. So this book mainly just um, explores a lot of the archaeological sites in Turkey. So obviously the big ones like Holocarnassus um Ephesus so I'll try and give you guys a little look in so yeah it honestly just looks so informative and that's why I picked it up because I suppose in this bookstore that I visited um there is such a range obviously of um of texts and um, there's not really a lot on like the ancient world which is why everyone that I picked up I had a flick through to have a look at it and um, there are quite a few uh, like dictionaries as well of like the ancient world but personally for me um i've already got one dictionary and i feel like you don't really need because they're really chunky things if you've seen what these ones are like i just personally don't think you need more than one <laughs> um but yeah but this one honestly looks fabulous i'll obviously read it and let you guys know what i think i think the main issue with you know books that are released i don't know over 20 years ago and stuff like that because at uni we are kind of told that it's best not to use um kind of research from before 1950 and like books before 1950 um just because they want more modern um research obviously because there's new findings you, you know you find every single year there's new findings and there's like new approaches to um to the histories really but yeah, I, as I said before, it is difficult with secondhand stores to find books that recent. Um, but they still look amazing. I think they're still really informative. So, yeah, I can't wait. I feel like I keep blabbing on about this. I'm going to stop talking about, <laughs> um, you know, dating now. Because that's a bit boring for you guys. Just watch a video on me just talking about when books are released and the impact of that. So... <laughs> Ooh, which one to show you guys next i'm coming up to like my final few and these are all ones that i am really looking forward to right i'll show you um one that isn't on the ancient world so i bought this and this is the encyclopedia of celtic wisdom so i'm really looking forward to reading this it is chunky um i think it's about 800 pages Oh, I, I, I'm really bad. It's 500. I'm awful at guessing this. Um, but this is released fairly uh, recently. Uh, and it kind of talks about basically it's the entire of the Celtic world, which is something that's really interesting to me. It talks about um, shamanic memory, vision poets, druids and guardians. So this book looks really good. I'll obviously let you guys know what I think of everything. Um, but this was uh, £2, so a really good find. Oh, one thing that was quite difficult, Lillian Dot, if you're watching this, then hi. So I went um, to this bookstore with my friends who I've just mentioned. Um, and one thing that is difficult is that we all like the same books. So my friend Dot is starting to get into like ancient history books, like me as well. So she's starting to get some books that I've got. Um... And my friend Lily as well, we're really into like folklore and mythology and stuff. So that is one thing that's really difficult, obviously going like book shopping, especially to a secondhand bookstore, there's only like one copy of something with the people. So I love you guys. And, but we all did talk afterwards to be fair. We were like, oh, I'm really jealous that you got that one. Um, and stuff like that but I think well they're my friends that are joining the book club so I think we're all gonna like try and circle the books around which is really good because my friend Dot she got a book on Greek verse which looks really really good so anyway <laughs>
Okay, so my next book is um, Life in Classical Athens. Um, and this is by T.B.L. Webster. So I've not actually heard of this um, classicist actually, but I'm basically just really interested in classic in the classical period of Greece, um, particularly classical Athens, which is why this is um, a really perfect find actually. Um, it's only a really small book, um, maybe about two hundred, yeah, about two hundred pages, um, but it just talks about you know. Um, the classical period in Athens, so art and literature. It's got a uh, chapter on women as well, which is really good. But it's saying that there is always going to be some overlap. I've got um, goddesses, wives, whores, and slaves. Is that the right order? Goddesses, whores, wives, and slaves. I think that's the right order <laughs> by Sarah Pomeroy. And I'm reading that one at the moment, and that one's all about women in antiquity. Um, so there's always going to be a little bit of overlap, I think, but I'm really looking forward still to reading this one. Really, I'm really looking forward to it. Now we come to my final three books. So these are like my favourite books. I don't, why did I do that? I don't know why I did I don't know why I did that. These are my favourite books, basically. So, um, I will start, which one should I start with? I'll start with this one. So I've got Plato, and this is one of his dialogues, uh, Gorgias. So I've not actually got this dialogue, and I, so I was literally just over the moon to find this. Uh, if you've seen my previous video, you'll know that I really enjoy reading Plato's works. So this is why I was so pleased to be able to find um, one of his dialogues, which I've not already got. So yeah, really happy with this one. I will show you guys this one next. So this is Mysteries and Secrets of Magic. So cool. And this is by CGS Thompson. So I found this in like a mythology type section. It was about, oh, it was still one pound actually. That's really good. And basically I'm just so happy um, because in this book there's chapters on like Babylonian and Assyrian magic, magic in like ancient Egypt, ancient uh, Greece. Um, so it's really like fantastic for its range um, of magic. It's got chapters on like, necromancy, witchcraft as well. Um, so yeah, I'm I'm so 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 excited to read. Oh, it's even got magic in Shakespeare's plays as well. So it's honestly um, just an all round really amazing book by the look of it. So I can't wait to read this one. And then my final book from this haul. Um, is Aristophanes, Lysistrata and other plays. So I went into the bookstore and the one book, well, I was also hoping to find an SPQR by Mary Beard and Mythos by Stephen Fry and stuff, but I think they are too modern to kind of be in a secondhand bookstore. So I wasn't able to find those ones. But the other book that I really, really wanted to find was this one, well, play. So basically I've only got uh, Frogs and Other Plays by Aristophanes. I think it's Frogs, Wasps, and there's one more in that um, anthology, but I've forgotten which one that is. But I have been dying for ages to read uh, Lysistrata. Because obviously it's all about like the women um, throwing like a sex uh, ban on the men. And I think it's just brilliant. I think it's an amazing idea um, for a play. Um, really funny, but obviously that's the aim because Aristophanes was a, a comedic playwright. Um, so yeah, I'm honestly over the moon that I found this one. Okay, so <laughs> this is it. I can't even bring this in fully into the camera. So this is overall all of the books that I've just shown you for my haul. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, in the comments, please, um, please let me know what you guys have hauled so far for September. And trust me, there will probably be another haul coming soon <laughs> because I just can't help it. I just cannot stop myself. I've got no... I've got no self-control when it comes to buying books. But that's also because um, I'm actually going to go to London next week with my boyfriend and I'm going to drag him around all of the second-hand bookstores and like independent bookstores um, with me. Um, also, yeah, actually, in the comments, please leave down um, below which like bookstore in London is one of your favourites. I've already got a couple that I've researched that I really want to go to, like Persephone Books and Daunt Books. 
And I think soon I'm going to try and actually start reviewing some books in more detail as well because obviously my first video is only a bookshelf tour and this one is just a haul. So yeah, stay tuned for much more content soon guys. Um, if you like this and you want to see content, what I've just mentioned that I'm going to post in the future, and then please like this video and subscribe. Um, I'll see you guys soon. So yeah, bye. Have a lovely weekend everyone.